Hello, my name is Dr. F. Tipper. I am president of the University of, M I'm sorry, of M. Lady University. And I'm here to tell you why God not real. Okay. Now here's the first point. There are contradictions in the Bible. And if I can, and if the Bible is not infallible and literal in everything it says, God does not exist. Now let me give you an example of a contradiction. And this is one Christians cannot answer. And this is why all intellectual historians who aren't silly Bible bashers are convinced that the Bible is a book of fairy tales. In Matthew 28, it says, In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. And behold, there was a great earthquake, and for the angel of the Lord descended from the heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning, and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and become as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. As he said, Come and see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. And there shall ye see him, lo, I have told you. And they departed quickly from the sepulchre with fear and great joy, and did run to bring his disciples' word. Now, compare this to the irreconcilable account in Mark 16, the latter bit of which is interpolation and cannot be trusted at all, it says, and when the Sabbath was passed, see that's a different word, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joses, of James and Salome, see Salome is added here, and Matthew doesn't mention Salome, therefore there could have been no Salome, therefore there's a contradiction, had bought, had bought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him, see the sweet spices aren't mentioned in Matthew either. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came unto the sepulchre at the rising of the sun. And they said among themselves, Who shall roll away the stone from the door of the sepulchre? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very great. See, it doesn't mention an angel rolling away the stone. Therefore, an angel couldn't have. Therefore, it's a contradiction. And therefore, God is not real. And entering into the sepulchre, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a long white garment, and he's and they were affrighted. And he saith unto them, Be not affrighted, ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen, he is not here. Go, behold the place where they laid him. But go your way, tell his disciples and Peter that he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him, as he said unto you. And they went out quickly and fled from the sepulchre, for they trembled and were amazed. Neither said they anything to any man, for they were afraid. So you see, it is irreconcilable. It disagrees on the number of women, it disagrees. Was it a man, was it an angel? Did they tell anyone what? See, irreconcilable differences. That means there were multiple traditions about this. And since there were multiple traditions, we can't trust it. Because the more traditions that mention an event, diverging traditions mean there's no truth to it. Because there are multiple traditions about it. And therefore, it's not historical. Okay, science, science. Let's see, the Bible says Earth. It's flat. Let me uh, show you here in Isaiah 40, verse 22. It says, It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers, that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spreadeth them as a, out as a tent to dwell in. So earth is a circle. The Bible says it very plainly that he's a circle. It doesn't matter that it's poetry, because you don't get to decide what's figure to stop maligning your own scriptures. And then surely God should know what shape the earth is, and it's not a circle. Now let's go to Revelation 20, where it says... And shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, other translations, say corners, see the KJV has errors, therefore it's not from God, therefore God does not exist, God is not real. Gog and Magog together them together to the battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. Well for one, it's impossible for there to be as many people as sand grains because if there were, there would be no room. And second, earth doesn't have corners, what is it? Some sort of cornered circle? Is God above logic or something? Okay. 
that actually lead, okay, yeah, that leads me to this, oh yeah, before I get to that, which I'll get to, because of evolution, God can't exist, because evolution disproves God, it doesn't matter, they may say, oh, but there are all these arguments that have nothing to do with evolution or science or anything, it's just, just look at these arguments, no, the very mere fact that there is evolution shows that God cannot exist at all, that's how this works. Okay? That's what you should say. But evolution. Now. <clears throat> rock. Can God make a rock too heavy for him to lift? Because if he can, then he can't lift the rock and he's not all powerful. But if he can't, then he can't make the rock so he's not all powerful. Therefore, it's logically impossible for a being to be above logic. It's simply not logical for something not to be logical. Therefore, God, not real. Free will. Why? Why does he let me not worship him? Why does he let me go to hell? I'm going to hell. Why does he do that? Why doesn't he lift me out of hell? Why doesn't he say we worship? In fact, why does he care whether or not anyone worships him? He is an egotist. Why doesn't he just let everyone not go to hell? They say, oh, it's separation from God. Well, then, why does he let us not be near him? Anyway, violence. People who, some people who believe in God are violent. Therefore, God is not real. Doesn't matter that not all of them are. The fact that anyone who believes in God could ever do anything wrong shows that God is not real. Miracles improbable. I've never seen a miracle. No one's ever seen a miracle. Therefore, they have a prior probability of zero, therefore, they can't happen. It's impossible because no one's ever seen one. Then, textual variants. There are more variants in the text of the New Testament than there are words in it. Because of this, because sometimes it's spelled one way, sometimes it's spelled another way, God not real. Why would God do that? Why would God let there be thousands of variants? And this is the last and most important one. I don't have a girlfriend. I've prayed and prayed and prayed for many years that God would give me a girlfriend, and he hasn't. I'm still an incel. If God were real, he would give me a girlfriend because he answers prayers. But since I have no girlfriend, he does not answer prayers. He cannot be real. God, not real. This is me. Dr. F. Tipper, president of M. Lady University, BTFOing all silly Christians.